Hello everyone, All Things Reviews, and today we're going to be reviewing LEGO Speed Champions Lotus Avija. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, watch to the end, you don't want to miss out. And let's get on with the video. So in today's video, we have set set number 76907, Speed Champions Lotus Avija, 247 pieces, and 8 plus. We're going to be talking about the car right here. So make sure to let me know what Speed Champion sets you guys have. Watch to the end, and if you want, buy this down below. Amazon link will be making sure to post in the video. As well, we've covered many other LEGO Speed Champions. I'm going to put them as cards. Or you can find it on my channel if you want to search. See which ones you like, see which ones you don't, because it's quite a few. I got a collection going on. So we're going to be talking about the card. Basic overview, height, weight, you know, minifigure. We're going to be talking about minifigure, what comes and does not come with the minifigure. We're going to talk about the box, the manuals, extra pieces, what's missing, what isn't missing. And then give an overall review at the end, whether if it's a good or not. And then give it out of a 10 score and the reasoning and explanation behind that. So without further ado, let's move on to the actual okay, car so itself. We have the minifigure right here. As you see, this is the minifigure that comes with the set. This guy right here, you have the lotus, you have the little green right there. So where are the two stripes and you could actually kind of see this at night it's a little bit reflective too so that's pretty nice and on the back you just have like this um, decoration of the shirt so you know it's like a fitted shirt and what you do get with this minifigure is a black wrench and you get this as well the helmet which you can switch in place if you do not feel like using the Hair piece that came with it. I put it on this side, by the way, because there's a lot of sunlight, and I want. It. How about a prison cell with no sunlight for ten years? Keep it, you know, uh, nice and dark so you can see it. So without further ado, that's gone with the main part of the car. So what's new about this set? You know, the stickers. What's new? So you do have three stickers right there. As you can see, it's like a dark green, so it does blend in nice. And for the first time, Lego on the headlights here for the 2022 set does not have sticker these are imprinted on and you do have two stickers on the bottom so from the front looking up this is like the little intake you have this is what it looks like and let's show the back very clean as you can see very clean polished smooth let's check out the side right here so you can see a lot of um detailing went in so you can see this little curve right there where it's open and that's supposed to represent, you know, the air intake as well as the side right there, which is crazy. And of course you have three stickers right here at the side, three sticker right here at the side. So it's really crazy, you know, the different lengths they went to replicate the um, air intake right there. So while it's racing, you know, the air would go in here and then exit out to be more aerodynamic as per the actual vehicle the three stickers right there and it does have the little green and yellow accent so that's the um colors choice that they went with as of course there's two stickers right here this is custom print and i will talk about that later and you do get two stickers in the side now let's flip it around and as you can see let's start off basic three stickers on the bottom and the way this design is made is it's with the bendable plates so you can bend it but they want you to bend it until it snaps in place so it gives that nice curvature as you can see right here the lotus uh, light the lotus goes for the inside. It's the license plate as well is a sticker and that would bring our last and final sticker that fell off besides that falling off <laughs> you do have like the square design on all four sides right here so you can see, you know, you have like the square with the black. So that's where the hair comes out in the middle and you have it all lit up. So it's a really tough car to design. And you'll see, you know, later on in the video, watch to the end. Why? Because of the, you know, car that they were replicating. So you got to give Lego credit. They definitely, um, you know, were pushing the envelope with this one. And I was pushing the spoiler out of the car. <laughs> So, you know, taking a look at the front here, you can see it has this little lotus right here. This is for where the engine is. And you can see it does um, come in and out. I was a little bit too um, hard with it. But, you know, you can see you can put it all the way down and up and it matches with the stickers quite perfectly. So this is where like the little engine would be at. You know, this is supposed to 
replicate the engine so you put it like this and it can't see and you can only see in the front so that's how they got away with it and another nice piece right here as you can see with the stickers following this nice little yellow trim this is the um, glass right there and it's all one piece so it just comes off like this and you can see it has that nice curvature to it in the front from the minifigures perspective and you do have this nice little steering wheel right here so this is what it would be looking at through the eyes of a lego minifigure you know on the road this sticker right here you get as the center console this is just like a nice little um thing for stoppers because you can't put two minifigures and let's talk about this, which is really cool. Um, not enough people give this credit. Um, let me see if I can zoom in. You get this nice little headboard along with these seats, you know, these very interesting seats. And I don't know if it is showing me. Let me see if it can show you. You see how it has like these two little hinges on it that go side to side. Yeah, it makes it look really cool. Even from this perspective, it makes it look like a wing. So, you know, there's a lot of um, hidden elements and, and the windshield is only held up by these little two. So that's how you plop it up. And there you go. You know, just like that, it's complete and this is what it looks like fully assembled. So a lot of cool things, a lot of curvature. I mean, Lego did took a lot of time with, you know, each of the little elements on here because you can see it wasn't easy. You know, there's a lot of hidden things that just make it uh, so unique <laughs> you know and yeah and it does come with um you know these four sets of wheels these are the ones that uh come together so you don't have to you know combine it it's already there you just stick on these spokes and it, you do uh, we'll be getting two different sets which transitions us into the um, you know weighing it and which will later transition us into so the box and manual <clears throat> measurements because it is only one car that you're getting you know this is it um let's go here so that could be a measurement on a dress on the i know this is 60 but you know you can still calculate it from the edge so that's five and a half inches as you know it did go from 60 to 50 four almost and this is 150 to 130 so 14 centimeters for the width let's do this that is one and a half inches or if you were to translate that into that is about right here um four centimeters height and i'm taking the bottom here all the way to the top and i decided to use this new um tape measure just because it's a little bit bigger um i was getting some complaints on the last one that you wasn't legible so i decided to use this one and this is a three inches width and that's including here to here without the wheels it's like 3.2 inches um you know if you included the width of the tires and this is five centimeters or five and a half if you would include the width with the tires so let's put this bad boy on the little weight scale right here and see what it comes out to so as you can see we're getting a four ounce so now that we're finished with the car description just a very basic overview we could actually transition into the manuals and different spokes of it so let's do that Okay, so we transitioned and let's start off with the basics. I want to show you the sticker packets, all that you get. So you get this one sticker packet and 19 stickers in total. Nice and clean to the point. And, you know, with the sticker packets, you will get this booklet one and two. Or booklet, you're getting one bags one and two. And it comes with one big bag, one small bag, one big bag, one small bag. And this is your second set get of tires for the lotus right here and you know uh, these are all the extra pieces as you can see one spoke you get a couple of these and you're going to be getting the different sets for the tires now all the bags here the brand new ones do have the qr code 2017 lego group I don't know what this necessarily means, but you know, Lego Group 2017, warning safety hazards. 
pretty standard stuff as well as now let's move on to the actual booklet so this is what the booklet looks like you are getting the qr code for um you know the instructions as per usual so it shows you here when you open the first page that it's going to get you to pages one and two so going through that you know you also are getting like this little progress bar <laughs> that i think is really cool that lego is doing it's going to take you 66 i count that as 67 67 steps to finish the car so it should take you if you're fast and can do one um an hour or less that's the estimated time and now let's get actually on to the box so oh, looking at the box from the front you get the little lotus logo right there you get the car which looks like i don't know some mansion <laughs> some mansion somewhere that it's racing in some sort of uh, pasture eight plus 907 and i swear lego is doing a new font i think with this right here um i haven't seen it so i think it's new so putting it onto this side you get the set number lego life little choking hazard putting it onto this side you can see the set number you get the vehicle and actual size right there. So let's take it on to the interesting part, the, bo the bottom, the back. <laughs> so in the back, you get a completely different setting. This looks like somewhere in Colorado or something like that, some forest area with leaves rustling. You can see it right here at the bottom, you know, the cards showing the back of the car racing through. And you know, you see this little side right here of it, a little um, interesting. I think that's an interesting cover out that they decided to do on it and you get what it's actually modeled after the real life it's a vija or a vija i can't pronounce it <laughs> what it's modeled after so see if you think it did pretty well or not that's up for debate so as always let's put this inside and give you the weight so you can get the estimated weight total so popping this up on a weight scale, you're going to be getting a total of five ounces. Okay, now that we discussed that, let's discuss the good and the bad. What is there to like about this car? I mean, so much detail has went into it. You know, Lego has definitely been perfecting their craft for cars over the years. You know, it's a nice eight wide. The stickers, nice use of the stickers and Lego's finally coming out with printed, which I think is really good. You know, I think the printed makes less room for air because i know sometimes we put those stickers you know as you can see not the most accurate <laughs> so sometimes it's just tough you know so i i really do appreciate it you know with the lining up of it and everything they did a great job with keeping everything you know covered and they did a great job of you know within lego reasons of actually you know building the car to a great quality build i know if you go a little bit hard as you saw in some parts um it will fall off but that's only because of the nature of you know all the curvature and things of that sort that it's doing um you know it's hard it's hard especially in the he form. said it's hard to lose a loved one isn't it factor to do much more so i think lego did a great job of maintaining order with it you know and the interior is really fantastic it has the wings i mean it put a lot of attention to um you know design with the curve here that holds it in place you know it makes it really sturdy so it doesn't really come out a lot of the car is just very solidly built you know it has these little intakes right here true to the car i mean um lego just really um outdid themselves now you know most of the issues i have in regard with it or complaints are within the form factor size you know um on the real lotus avija there's a little curve you know i can show you on the one that it was modeled after let me put this here that right, you know you can see the little curve right there and it has it to the sides the actual um intake you know lego did their best of holding it to the side but obviously within the constraints it's not able to do that and you know it doesn't have the curved dash but the seats obviously look a little different than the seats in this car so there are some you know complaints and yeah i wish it could have been it could have potentially been you know more sturdily built with it and more um custom print so it doesn't fall out as much but 
I don't really think that's um, Lego's fault besides a couple of the, you know, few of the items like the front and the seats while they're very nicely built they don't necessarily completely match it and you know instead of the complete sides it it's in the middle more sort of not the sides but i don't really blame lego i don't think it's lego's fault for that otherwise than that i mean it's really a unique set that they did a unique approach and i'm definitely happy with it as far as from a collecting standpoint uh, i would recommend you buy it and playability standpoint uh totally i'd give this like a 10 out of 10 honestly there's not much to complain i think the complaint is within the limitations but that's not necessarily lego's fault that is you know just fault of the constraint and um you know the pieces but overall i really love this car and recommend anyone get this car actually it's probably my favorite now better than the dodge charger you know and it's a lotus it's the first lotus that i know of and that i have you know the charger is nice if you're looking for like american muscle and you do get a nice minifigure too you know green matches it um really cool highly recommend you get it especially if you love lotus so this has been lego speed champions at 76907 all things reviews 247 plus pieces ages ages eight and up make sure like comment subscribe and if you can amazon link down below purchase yourself a nice cool little set while you're at it and you'll help support me out Till next week bye bye